Let's see if we can do it here. On the right hand side is our Simplicity Offset Duet. On the left hand side are a series of screenshots we took at a tour. And what we have done is combine that into an animation that plays like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 43 Finesse priority and express. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we have multiple multi-edit, multiple media edit projects in place, um, which are relating the music we've been composing in these streaming series and our work in other projects, which such as those screenshots of virtual environments. And we're beginning to look at what we're doing. Everything we compose and perform uh, from the point of view of art and expression is part of our intention. In other words, we're communicating the project like this is a recreation of a real world environment. Uh, another one I'm going to show you in a minute is the recreation of a health information awareness project. But in addition to communicating that information, we're looking at it from the point of view of art and expression, uh, which is our music and our images. So, um, in particular, what we've been doing here is combining the magic animator, as you saw, with source file images, as you saw, and then using tools like uh, Reaper, which allows us to combine sound files in different ways. And of course, at the very beginning, all of this came from music that we composed here in uh, MuseScore, which is our primary composing tool. So along those lines, we did another animation project where we took Darkness 1, which is this. And we took it in its entirety. And then we went back and grabbed pieces of Sincere 5, which was from the Composing in Motion series. And then, and then, we took source files from another uh, project, uh, which is here, screenshots. These screenshots, like this. So, we had to use Reaper because the darkness which is this file here if we soloed this file you'd hear just darkness and that was good the way it was but we had to put some material at the beginning and then we needed some material at the end which was this here And by doing that, we gave ourselves basically two minutes and 32 seconds worth of music. Uh, but we also wanted to synchronize the music with each of the slide images, these images here, so that when the music changed the mood, it synchronized with when the image changed. Basically, we synchronized the image to the music, actually. So you can see Sincere uh, 5, Snippets are here, 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 and here, and here. And the darkness uh, one snippets are here. And here's the exact number of seconds. And there's a two second auto crossover thingy-majiggy. And we had to put a buffer in here to get a shift between the mood of darkness one, which is uh, driving and dissonant, and sincere, which is ethereal and reflective. And we opened up with ethereal reflective. We closed with ethereal reflective. And we use dissonant and driving in the middle because we felt that went along with the theme of the piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to play for you the new animation and our, ref uh, our reflection is that this this has taken the most out of us so far. It's been the most complex combination of text 
built into the magic. I mean, we didn't do this in Vegas. We did it in magic because of reasons. So here, here we go. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this particular animation is the the, the detailed coordination down here. Um, it's the first time we've done this in Magic instead of Vegas Editor. Uh, there are certain benefits to Magic. It's quicker and faster to render things, especially in high resolution, than Vegas is. Uh, but it also is a little more demanding in terms of uh, timeline you have to work out your timeline like this or, or you just get lost and we can share that from experience and working out that timeline included having to use reaper and go in here and nudge and so you can see how many uh, timestamps we used that said we do feel pleased that we came up with something that musically synchronizes the feel and intent of the the imagery and the text content. So our ideas for next time are to uh, continue setting up our video project folders. We have Hammer and Pixel, which we started in one of these episodes, and we have a virtual ability tour video that we need to begin editing. Um, also, we have a louder than sound second pass lyric voice animation we want to work on we got some feedback on that and our good old friend to be determined shout outs to olive tree uh, gentle and i sky for helping us with our source filing of imagery and mr spatz who showed up in spades Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.